Hey, what's up, you amazing dudes? Welcome back to Anthem VIP Demo, and today is my distinct pleasure of showing you how to play as the one and only Iron Man. That is right, as you can see right now on the screen, my Ranger is fully customized to look as close as possible to Iron Man as you can get, and uh, obviously there might be better options in the full game, but for now, this is most probably the best of them all, and this is basically how it looks. Unfortunately, the lighting isn't really the greatest, I mean, I'm going to try to show it to you, but it looks much better in uh, in good lighting conditions. What I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to go back on the map and I'm going to go back to the fort itself to show you exactly what you need to know about, uh, you know, creating this thing. Okay, so here's a better look at the javelin. It's kind of dark outside. It's unfortunate that it's not during the day, but yeah, during the day it's going to look even better. And as you can see, you have all of those nice shining elements, especially the gold on this. And it looks quite spectacular, I might say. I mean, it's pretty well made and I'm glad it ended up this way and I'm even going to go to the forge right here to show you exactly what I need to know in order to achieve this thing so yeah I'm going to enter the forge and it looks pretty much like this I'm going to toggle it off just so you can see it better and if you zoom in a little bit you can see all of those nice details um, all of the shine it's obviously all metallic so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back into my javelins I'm going to pick the regular javelin loadout and uh, yeah this is like the Iron Man that I just saved. So I'm going to go into the default ranger and we're going to go into the appearance and obviously into the paint section first. And here's where you'll need to first set out your materials because these are very important and I'm going to begin with these ones, specifically with the clean metallic look. Actually, the first two, I'm going to go with clean metallic. These are the first two options, so that is what I'm going to pick. It seems that this one was already picked like that. I've also saved a nice little color over here, specifically this uh, reddish looking color. It's pretty close to how Iron Man is, but uh, if you guys want to see it exactly where it is on the color wheel, it's basically in the red category and, and somewhere around here. Once you pick it, just press enter or whatever action button you have. You just need to like fiddle a little bit around with it. If you like it a little bit more bright, then you can definitely do that. Depends on how realistic or animated you want it to be. So yeah, that's why I'm going to add different sections and I'm going to be going with this one this time around. But that's, that's generally what you need to know. The same on the second one and it's already looking good. The only problem is I think it has one of the vinyls on it. So I'm going to have to go ahead and re actually it doesn't. Never mind. It didn't have any vinyls. If it has, just delete them because you don't need that. Now on the third one is where things start becoming interesting and you will have to pick one of these metal uh, textures. Obviously all of these will depend on the lighting conditions but I will be starting with the aged one and I'm going to pick the gold one. There you have it. This is the gold one and you can test things out, see which one you like it. Once you pick the gold color, just go between these and see which one you prefer the most. I think that the rugged one is way too white, while the bare and uh, the metal aged one is the best. But I'm going to go with the aged because I just like those textures. On the fourth selection, which is the primary soft, we're going to go with another metallic clean. I'm just going to need to find it. There it is. And I'm going to put it yet again on the same color. So it's going to be like this. There you go. Then the fifth one is going to be yet again a metal option and here is where you can play a little bit and not go with the aged one. You can go with the rugged one but I'm gonna have to show it to you in just a second. So I'm going to pick the gold option yet again. There you have it. And I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit just so you can see those details. I'm not really sure if I can go down. Yes, I can actually. Especially in the legs area is where you will need to pay close attention. And the last but not least, we're going to need yet again a uh, clean metallic one. Yeah, this is it. Clean metallic. You can even see the shine on it. And obviously I'm going to pick the red one. And that is basically it. That is all there is to this color. Look at this. It's already looking like Iron Man. It's looking pretty damn good, I might say. And uh, obviously you can see the lighting conditions. In good lighting conditions, the red color will definitely pop up. You can see the shine over there. And if you want it to be even more shiny or interesting, you can definitely go ahead and pick the wear state. And uh, yeah, it's normally on standard, which I don't recommend for this thing, but rather 
for the new one and the new one is where you know it starts <laughs> well shining pun intended look there's so much shine to it it looks absolutely beautiful i don't think there's a better option to pick in this regard honestly the only thing that doesn't look like iron man unfortunately is the face mask like normally the entire region like this entire region over here would be affected by gold it would be gold basically in this case it is not and i'm going to show you why that is the case is because if you go in to the section that deals with that face and if you want to like change it to let's say to a metal aged as you can see it changes literally everything on the body so it's not just that area it's the rest as well but there is a nice workaround here you can do if you want to keep that you know specific face and it's quite simple all you need to do is go into the arms area and hopefully bought the additional customization options that existed in the game and now you will have the red on top of the of top of the gold and then you can also go into the leg section and do pretty much the same and it's going to look like this and you're going to have an Iron Man almost 100%, almost 100%. I'm really curious if the chest area even fits like this. I think it does, to a certain extent, I think it does. Like, if you want a beefier Iron Man, you can definitely go with this one. This one also looks pretty damn sweet, I'm not gonna lie, this one looks quite good, I might say. But also way more interesting, and uh, you're gonna have those red marks more red marks on the back as well, so it's not going to be like just pure gold. And yeah, it depends on which one you like. If you want the first one, you can definitely go in and do that. If you want the second one, it's uh, it's definitely an option. I'm even gonna save this one as something else. And let me just go into my javelin options. And I think I'm going to save the ranger one as Iron Man. I'm going to name it Iron Man MK Toe. This is gonna be my MK Toe. And yeah, this is basically it. This is the difference between these two. This is the first version, this is the MK1, which still looks good in my opinion, and you don't have to spend any of your points. And this is the MK2, which is the second version, and I believe this one looks a little bit better. It's just my opinion, it's a little bit beefier, I like it like that. And as a matter of fact, I will continue to do it this way. It's so freaking glorious. And that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you will all get to play the game. It's really fun when it's not messing things up also do take note of the giveaway that i'm doing if you want to see the links in the description box i keep repeating myself with this giveaway so yeah just hang in there uh, in the meantime a like and a subscribe would be super appreciated and i'll see you guys next time so peace